Hi and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse, I'm Wally Graham. I'm at the 2023 RIU Explorers Conference in Fremantle, where I had a chat with Rob Waugh, Managing Director of Musgrave Minerals. Rob, uh, <laughs> welcome back. It must be February, it must be Explorers. Good to see you. It's always great to be here at Explorers, Wally. It's a great time of year. Year's kicked off to a great start. Well, I mean, you're a hard man to catch the rest of the time because you're so busy. Because, okay, so the uh, Musgrave um, Evolution Mining jo Joint Venture, that's going along nicely. Most uh, news of late I've noticed has been coming out of your Lena and Break of Day um, um, deposits, your 100% ground. Is that where you're concentrating at the moment? Yeah, the main focus for us is on that 100% ground for Musgrave. Uh, we've been getting good results through on the RC programs and diamond programs. Um, we've been trying to grow the resource base, so that's happening in the background. We put a resource out in May last year. That's been the focus for the PFS. So we're using that as a background for the PFS. The PFS is a stage one document. It'll really look at the financial and technical viability of the early years of the project. From there, we tend to grow the resource, convert more inferred to indicated, and head to a stage two PFS. It's amazing with that Musgrave thing. I don't know if um, people are sort of paying enough attention to what you're doing because there's a lot of good news coming out but um, for no reward, it seems. Yeah, it's a bit like that. It's a bit like that across the whole gold space at the moment. So gold's a bit underdone, in my view. Um, so I think, look, the old adage that you buy low, sell high, still holds. So gold's low at the moment. Maybe it is a good time to buy. All right, well, we'll just get back to the, you know, the work that you are doing out there because you know, what you're doing is quite substantial. So um, you just said you, you had the uh, resource last year. Obviously, you're looking to add to that. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that won't come into the PFS. It, that's, that's sort of closed off now. So we're working towards that delivery of that PFS. But the intent is still to be able to grow the resource base. So it's converting more to indicators, growing the overall resource as well. We're making new discoveries. So it's all a really positive and, and being able to show that the, the project itself has a, has a, a good return. Um, high grade close to surface makes it quite unique in this space. Not too many undeveloped high grade gold deposits open cuttable. Um, so it puts us in a good space in an area where there's great infrastructure. Yeah, so as the pre-fee sort of closes off, uh, what's the sort of plans after that? Yeah, but then that's why it's sort of a stage one. So to just look at that first four to five years of a PFS, that'll then lead into trying to you know, back that up with converting more, as I said, and that'll lead into year six, seven and eight of the PFS. So that's a stage two PFS. From there you go to a BFS, or, or effectively a BFS or DFS, depending on your terminology and then you go to construction mining operations. Yeah, oh, well, all I can say is we'll keep the good news coming because yeah, we, we'll keep on putting it out there. We'll try and get, get people to take notice of it because uh, you, you, Musgrave, you guys are doing a lot of good work. Yeah, and that's what people would understand. I think there's a lot of work happening in the background um, and there's a lot goes into it. We've got a great team on the ground and it really makes a big difference for us. No worries. Excellent, thanks, Well.